So this is kind of interesting. By all, all because everyone has really not understood the driving force. The meaning of life is. I think right now we risk losing a great deal of time because we have some weird stuff going on in technology. Weird stuff. The AI bros, the AI gods that we the have, AI right? Bros. right? Like, who are the AI bros? I mean, like you've got the people that are saying that we're all going to be killed by AI. Like you're, Ellie user and yeah. exactly, and you got other people saying that AI is going to literally become the super greatest intelligence ever and solve everything. Where both those land? things are wrong. They're just they're both wrong. They're just demonstrably wrong. How let's, so? Let's take well because so um, AI is not what you think it is. AI is literally a process of taking data and finding correlations in that data. It's nothing more than that, right? And so the fact that people kind of think that that is somehow going to become sentient and therefore nefarious is a gross mischaracterization and, 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 and exposes a critical thing that we don't really understand what biology is doing. And I, and, and I hope you're right, by the way, and I'm, I, I, I like hearing this, but can we dig into this a little more, yeah. like what evidence you, you see for that? So, so what show that it's a very long conversation to have. So let me let's let, do it. Let's That's do it here. So. Um, it will probably need us to go back to the origin of life and define intelligence. You took the words out of my mouth. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. So I think there. Are, so this is one of the reasons why I, I kind of. I guess I, I. I guess it's a good way to set the stall out to say actually, I could be wrong, but let's think about it. Let's just go back to the beginning. So back to the beginning, there was a big bang. Mm -hmm. Big bang produced a load of stuff. That stuff turned into plant. Turned into stars. Those stars aggregated into galaxies. Stars started to explode, produced heavy elements. Those heavy elements form planets. Those planets orbited stars. And at least in one instance in the universe, if not many more, one planet got life. And how long ago was this? So life on Earth started... Uh, pro the universe is about 14 billion years old, if I can do my math correctly. Um, Earth is about 4.7 billion years old, I think, or maybe a little bit less, but let's say four, between 4.5 and 4.8 billion okay. years old. And life started on Earth about more than 4 billion years ago, and probably life got going as quickly as it could. You're talking at like a cellular level? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So the last universal common origin. So you've got origin of the universe, origin of Earth, origin of life. Now then life goes on and goes through a series of evolutionary processes, terraforms the Earth, produces oxygen, we have multicellularity, and then suddenly you have um, animals, and the uh, the the ability for these animals, these animals, let's do it correctly. The animals developed have sensors, so they're able to, you know, as soon as a the animal had sensors, they could see what's going on. So as soon as you started to see, then you can start to then kind of um, create. Um, you, a conscious experience whereby you can anticipate what's going to happen next. Hmm. So let's pause for a second. First assumption, because I'd like to list the assumptions because then I allow people to attack those assumptions. Biology is a process of matter wanting to survive. So this is kind of interesting. Biolo all Because everyone has really not understood the driving force. The meaning of life is existence, in my view. So second assumption. Hmm. How does it, but existence of cool shit. <laughs> cool shit. Meaning like the ability to want to not die? Yeah. It, complex objects basically don't try and keep, get their information preserved in some way, whether it's copying, replication, whatever. So biology seems to be a process of taking inorganic chemistry and producing cells that replicate. So at the very simple level, you have cellular replication. So that's what happened on Earth for billions of years. Cells copying themselves, copying themselves, copying themselves. Then it got a bit more funky where you had cells kind of starting to collaborate. So you could have mitochondria. Mm. So these are these little energy producing cells in your cells. Suddenly you have complex cells, eukaryotes. These eukaryotes then go, oh, I can, I've got more energy. I can now start to move. I can take energy and move. What could that allow me to do? Acquire more resources to be, be more me, but then I have to argue with the environment. I have to fight to survive because there's other people doing other objects doing that as well. So now, as these cells then develop sensors and they need to compete in the environment, those sensors then necessitate you to be able to understand 
the present by remembering the past. So that was the, that's where suddenly animals and life had got the thing called instinct. Ah, okay. Now instinct is kind of level one. Yeah. Now the, in, the animals are like, huh, I've got this thing called instinct. I know, I know, I mean, like there's this joke, like when human, when you see someone down the street, you're like, can I, it, can I fight it, fuck it or eat it? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I mean, you can see the wrong person. When I'll say all three. When you look at, when, you know, go down the street, someone's looking at you like, I wonder what they're doing. And they're thinking to the should fuck me, fight me, or eat me. <laughs> you know, they're probably not thinking anything else, right? That's their instinct yeah. because that's their instinct, right? Yeah. That's how you've, that's evolution produced it. But however, going a bit more, because instinct wasn't enough, as you were able to move further in space, suddenly instinct wasn't enough, right? Because um, you move, instinct allows you to move really fast. But now, if you're able to see far away and you can see the thing you're going to fight, fuck, or, or you know, or, or eat come towards you, you can plan. And for so planning then allows you to have some kind of build some cognitive capacity. So now you've gone all the way from origin of life to cognition. And then what? Then, Quick question. Yeah. Sorry to cut you off. I just want to make sure I understand. When you're talking about instinct and you're saying like it's the ability to take action by remembering the past are you are you now saying that that's infected it or infected is the wrong word but it's it's built in at a genetic level meaning yes. your instinct is based on what your ancestors of yeah, yeah. your species it's, were doing ants and termites all these things yeah. it, it's like instinct built in right it's like it, it it might be a little bit of nurture as well as nature uh -huh. but but there is this the instinct is almost like pre-consciousness right yes if you like, like you understand why you, you know, you understand as a human, like you literally do like, am I going to fight, fuck or eat you? Right. And you're like, that's a bit weird. Yeah. I mean, I don't want, I mean, my higher level cognition is like, should I talk to you about poetry or this other <laughs> stuff? Right. But these layers are coming down, but anyway, yeah, then you'll fuck them afterwards. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we should probably, but the, what I think is important is you've got instinct, but this is really important for the AI discussion. So those that are like, what the hell it is really important. Because selection is what's happening. Selection, Darwinian evolution is, is what's happening. And Darwinian evolution is happening in the environment all the time. You've got a survival of the fittest or, yes. or survival. Like this, just you want to survive. And you are fit, not necessarily just by fighting everyone. You, there's a bit of cooperation going on. So anyway, so the movement, the movement from instinct to higher level requires consciousness to come in. Now, with consciousness, instinct really didn't need you to remember the past in a, oh, I can remember seeing this thing and now I can do that. That requires active kind of learning. Whereas instinct is like, I see this, see this, do that. It's like, it's a bit yes. like, a, you know, my cat. It's like, it knows what look for a mouse. It doesn't, my cats are hilarious. They'll go out, they get mice, they bring the mice in the house. They fucking lose the mice and they can't see them. Cats are really good at looking at change. So this is why they, they if you can see a, a, they, small things moving. Mm -hmm. If the mouse is just standing, they can't see it. So like the, 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 they're just like, they're completely stupid. It's their instinct doing everything. There's not much higher level cognition going on. Instinct is doing that all. But suddenly, suddenly as your senses developed, as in you know the senses of sight and touch and smell and hearing all came in, suddenly you've got all this other repertoire for problem solving to, to survive. Thank you guys for checking out this clip. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and hit the like button on this video. It is a huge, huge help. And if you'd like to check out this clip's full podcast episode, that link is in the description below or right here. And finally, you can follow me on Instagram and X by using the links in my description below.